This is the dollar CAD on the 15. We have an AB equals CD pattern, which has formed a head and shoulders. So I'm just going to do the high time frame analysis before we talk through this trade. Uh, this was something I was looking at last night. I was looking for a double top, but we didn't have the confirmation. And the other entry I can use for these patterns is just simply a um, head and shoulders. So higher time frame here, still looking bullish looking at this market breaking to the upside, looking at it coming up to this higher level. Just look at the consolidation here. Can even make the case for another pattern just here. Let's go to the 240. Okay, on the 240, what have we got? Um, We've got the market being very bullish and then moving sideways just here. Let's go to the 60. Here on the 60. Uh, this may or may not be valid for you. Uh, for me, it is. Uh, on the higher time frame, we are obviously up in this big trend line. Um, on the, I'm going to go to the 15, actually. We can see our pattern here on the 15. So we've got this leg here. X to A, very directional. We duplicate it, we move it over. And while the rest of this is a little bit of junk, it is still formed that AB equals CD pattern. Now we've got several levels of structure here. Um, the level I was initially looking at last night was this, but we've actually violated that. Price has come up and closed at its highest point up at this level. So we have gone a little bit further than normal but we have come into another level of structure. And price is a little bit lower, it comes to there. We have come up into, okay, this level just here, one, two, three. So still coming to a level of um, resistance there. And the head and shoulders is looking like this. So we have a decent rally. Do that again. We have a, a decent rally, a pullback for the left shoulder, a rally into structure, which made a new high. And from there, we then put in an initial structure low. So this violated the outside return. So this is um, initial structure low, which is an indication that we could be seeing a potential rotation. And this really happens when we come into a structure level. What we then see is a pullback. We pull back into the left shoulder. We pull back into the wicks. And just here, we actually had a double top. And from there, we pulled lower. We saw a little pullback for 26.18. So I'm just going to drop to the five so that we can see that double top clearer. And there it is, right here. Gives me a nice place to hide stops behind. And so uh, I can then look for FIB based targets based on the AB equals CD pattern. It isn't very pretty, but because we've come into structure, um, because we do have that uh, initial structure low on the 15 minute, it gives us more confirmation because we do have a double top on the five, a nice place to hide stops behind. And obviously we have come into that higher level of structure on the higher time frame as well. So stops have gone, what did it go here? Did it go five pips behind the high here? The ATR is only four. Looks like I've actually gone six pips behind the highest point. Just give it a little bit more breathing room. Front running targets here by, should be two pips. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another pip. So. In terms of risk then, we're looking at 15, and in terms of the reward, looking at 19. So we're back on for the update, and I was stopped out of this trade, but just before you go, I am back in it, and I'm gonna talk through why. So we know this was an initial structure low. Uh, we came up for the right shoulder. We double topped here on the lower time frame. We broke to the downside, um, and then price came up and stopped me out. But what I was also looking at is a double top. Now I've been stopped out of this trade then for 15 pips, but if I just 
clear this chart up a little bit then along with a head and shoulders I can also look at a double top and right here we have formed a valid double top there's the first test there's the second we went over bought with divergence and um, actually was a little bit late with the entry um, but I was monitoring this and uh, just talking through I don't know what's going to happen here with the trade but we haven't come down to hit those projected targets but um, a head and shoulders when I had my stop just above here while it was for me the right place to have it there undoubtedly the safest place is always above the highs and it stops this kind of situation from happening uh, the problem for me is while this was quite a smallish trade uh, on the higher time frame say the four hourly and we form a double top on the 60 minute it can maybe say be 40 50 pips and it allows me to get involved with the trade without it hitting my maximum stop loss which is 100 pips so um, yeah we're back in the trade took a loss for 15 I'll just bring back on the orders uh, everything's still the same if this comes off I've actually gone uh, 10 pips above the high. Did I go 10 or 5? No, 5 pips above the high. So 15 pips of risk again for probably the same amount. Oh no, for 27 pips of reward. So if we do come down here and hit this time, it'll still put me in profit for 12 pips. Uh, fingers crossed that second time lucky, uh, I can turn this loser into a winner. And we're back for the last part of the video and as you can see price has rallied down we didn't just double top we triple topped and rallied down to hit those targets for 38.2 uh, without me yes without me I went to full ATR back which was 15 pip uh, I didn't even go an ATR back uh, 134.91s just there um, my fault didn't have my stop loss far enough back maybe I looked at the ATR on the 15 don't know what I did uh, but I managed to turn what would have been a winning trade into a losing trade um, so I'm out for two lots of 15 that's 30 pips